So the CIA funded a movie production of George Orwell's Animal Farm for anti-communist propaganda. Now we don't want to say too much in case the CIA are actually listening in now. In fact, they're probably checking your IP address as you're watching this. So we won't say too much. Um, Animal Farm, what a great film, what a delightful book. Here is a cartoon with a difference. The first full-length cartoon film to be made in England. Produced by the brilliant team of Hallis and Batchelor. Animal Farm was animated by Hallis and Batchelor a British animation company run by Joy and John. They were actually husband and wife and been doing propaganda movies for a long time. Most people think that Animal Farm was the first ever British animated film. In fact, it wasn't. Hallis and Bachelor had done Handling Ships many years before that, and that film had been shown at Cannes, yet it never got a theatrical release. Whereas Animal Farm, still thought of as the first animated film, did get a theatrical release. Rim <gasps> Production costs were low in England, so that goes some way to seeing why Hallis and Batchelor got the gig in the first place. However, there was a lot of rumours coming out of the CIA that they were worried about the loyalty of American animators at the time. Many of them had been blacklisted, no issue in England, whereas Hallis and Batchelor employed around 80 animators to make Animal Farm. There was interest from the US Army and the Walter Lentz Animation Studio, the people who made the Woody Woodpecker movies, into making George Orwell's book into a cartoon. However, it was awarded to Hallis and Batchelor based on the fact that they were only going to take so long to make it. Awarded in 1951, they were going to release it in 1953. However, but because of a huge production and the fact that they were using single cell animation, it was pushed back to 1954. But remember, now and forever, all animals are equal. The premiere took place at Manhattan's Paris Theatre, one of the most upscale theatres in the whole of America. The after-show party, that was at the United Nations, pretty swanky, it's got to be said. Whilst the film garnered critical favouritism on its reviews, it actually bombed at the box office. Most people saw it as a violent dumbo. One of the original posters also said, You'll laugh at this movie. I don't think they quite got the handle of what the movie was trying to say. Yes, done it, smashed it.